Well, hello guys and welcome to Mr. Web Reviews. And today we are going to have a look at a plugin that is unique. And when I say unique, I mean it in a literal sense because this plugin is the only one available on the market that serves this purpose. So what is it for? Well, it's a WooCommerce add-on that will allow you to display lead time. So whether you're selling non-stock items or custom-made products, you can now let your visitors know what the lead time is for all your products. And as you'll see, this message can be configured to fit your own requirement. And this is a very powerful marketing tool indeed that will help you build uh, trust and increase sales as well. So let's wait no further and let's dive right into it. Okay guys, so today we're going to review the one and only WooCommerce lead time plugin. So this is the only place you can purchase a plugin like this one. And what is the purpose of this plugin? Well, as you can see, it's to provide your customers, your visitors with a lead time, obviously. And also, do you sell custom made to order products or non-stock products perhaps? So as you can see here, don't leave customers guessing. Display clearly time information and help customers decide whether to place an order or not. So it's very simple indeed. So as you can see here from this picture, this is an out of stock item and there's an available date and you can set the date here yourself so your customers will know immediately when to expect the product. So maybe you're, you place the order with your suppliers already, you know it will be here in 10 days, you, so you can let your customers know. And from that uh, point on, they can decide whether or not they want to go ahead and purchase it and reserve the item. And as you can see here, you can choose among three different options. You can select for in-stock products, out-of-stock products, and product on back order. So those two basically is when you're out of stock and you want to let your customers know that uh, it's en route and the products are maybe available next week or in two weeks' time, whichever you know, and you can set up the date yourself and let them know when it will be available. If it's in-stock product, then uh, back to our top uh, here, we can see this is for maybe custom or made-to-order products so these are non-stock item obviously you know uh, made to order so you'd like to let your customers know when they can expect delivery so let's go ahead and install it on a fresh wordpress installation on a woocommerce installation and discover all the different features okay so welcome to our wordpress dashboard so let me show you the front end what it looks like so i installed a demo uh, content here uh, it's a furniture shop basically selling uh, all sorts of furniture and as you can see, if we scroll down, there's different types of uh, furniture available. Uh, you can have an armchair and so on. So let me just click on the shop page now and show you one product. So let's open this one, for instance. So as you can see, this is a simple product page and there is no lead time at the moment. So let's go ahead and install our plugin and see how we can configure this on our product page. So for this, we go into our uh, WordPress dashboard again. So we're going to plugins, add new, upload plugin and choose file. And you're going to select the file that you downloaded from the bound2.co.uk website, which will look something similar to this. And then you open that file and then click install. So the plugin is inst was installed successfully and then all you have to do after this is activate the plugin. There you go. So as you can see here at the bottom, we have WooCommerce lead time. We, uh, in the, the, the plugin has been activated. So from here, you can click on settings. And the first thing you want to do is to activate this plugin using your license key. And you got a reminder here anyways, you know just in case you forgot. So let me close this for now. We don't need these. So basically, uh, these settings are under the WooCommerce tab, settings or WooCommerce settings, and then product set, uh, section, and then lead time. So let's paste our uh, license key here and activate the plugin first. So let me paste this here and then activate. Do you want to save these changes? Yes. So that's it. As you can see, license key successfully activated. So here you have the, the initial settings. So display lead time on the single product page, the cart, the checkout, 
and all the details. So we're just going to leave it as is for now. So let me show you here from the front page now. If we refresh, as you can see, it still doesn't display anything at the moment. And the reason is because we haven't uh, set anything up in the product page itself, in this product page. So let's go back to our uh, WordPress dashboard. We're going to products this time and then all products. So I'm going to open this in a different tab so we can go from one to the other easily. And this is our product here, this chair, the armchair. So let's click on this. And if you scroll down, if you go into the inventory tab, you can see that now we have a section called lead time, a field here they can fill in. So let's say available uh, first week of February 2021. So this would be your message. So now let's update and let's go back to our product page and refresh. And as you can see, now we have a mention of availability. It says available first week of February 2021. So that's how easy it is, basically. You know? And you can do that from, for each and every uh, product on your website. So let's go back to our settings here. As you can see, there's a lead time prefix and then global lead time. So what's the prefix? Basically, it will be the same across uh, the whole um, website. So you can add a text base basically before. So you could put available. And then as you can see, we have lead time unit as well. You can set up in days or weeks. So this will be added automatically afterwards. So let's say if I was to select days and then available in and then space. And if I was to save it like this now, just save. And now if I refresh our product page, you can see it says available in, available in. There's a repeat because if we go into our product page, now we have to remove the, the mention of available. So let's put just one day. I'm going to put here uh, 14, just the number, 14, then update. And now you'll see in the front end what it will do. Basically, if I refresh, available in 14 days. So basically, if you set it up this way, so if you put it available in and then a mention of days, automatically all you have to do is just in your product page, all you have to do is just put a, a number basically of days and all your products will uh, be reflected the same way on the front end. So it, it will say available in 14 days. Now let's say if you were to put that in weeks and let's save again. And then from here you're going to put two maybe on the product page instead of 14 days and if we refresh our product page now now it says available in two weeks now let's say you wanted to make this more prominent some people will notice it you know because at the moment it's the same color as the rest of the phone so it blends in basically but you want maybe you make it stand out you might use another color so if you go in here and then you click on this you can go and choose a different color. So uh, let's say, uh, let's choose a red, maybe. I'll go a vibrant red. Let's see, hold on. Something like that. That's it. And then save this. If we go and refresh again, you can see now it says available in red. Now you, you can't miss it, obviously, because it's in red. It does stand out immediately. Now, let me show you what it looks like if we were to display this on all the different pages like cart, checkout, and all the details. So let's take all these, save changes, and let's refresh here. So that's our product page. As you can see, it says available in two weeks. So let's add to cart. Let's view cart. Okay, so that's our cart now, as you can see, available in, and then it says two weeks. So let's go to checkout now. And then you can see this is our order review here, and it says available in, and then two weeks again. So it's displaying everything, basically, everywhere, basically, you know, on all the pages now. 
including all our details, checkout, uh, cart, and single product page. Now, as you can see, we have in stock products uh, ticked. So let's untick this one and let me show you what it looks like now. So if we untick this and we go into our product page and let's see the inventory. So this one is in stock at the moment. So if we go back to our product page now, so if we go on our product page now, it's not displaying it anymore because our product, let's go to our product here. It's actually, as you can see, it's in stock. So when it's in stock, it's not displaying it. Now, if it's out of stock, let's let's put it out of stock. This one is out of stock now. And as you can see, the lead time is two. Let's update. And now if we refresh, let's continue. Now you can clearly see this item is out of stock, available in two weeks. Now again, you can give a specific date again, you know, so let's go and change this and let's see it's available on such and such date. So let's go back to our uh, details here. So for this, we're not, not going to select any unit and remove the prefix. Then we have to save this. And then we go to our product page inventory and we're going to change this to lead time. So let's say available from 14th of February 2021 and then update. And now if we go refresh here, continue. It's going to stay out, stay out of stock. And then now we know precisely when it will be back in stock, you know, available from 14th of February 2021. Now, as you can see, there is no add to cart button because this one is out of stock. You cannot add an out of stock item to the cart. So if you still want people to be able to add to cart, what you need to do is one small change is to put it as on back order. So the status will be on back order and then update. And once this is set, we can refresh. As you can see now, it's available on back order, available from 14th of February 2021. So now you give the option to your visitors to actually purchase it and pre-order it if you wish. So they can actually purchase this now no problem knowing that it'll only be available from the 14th of february so let's look at the cost of this plugin so let's click on view pricing and as you can see for one website the cost is 39 euros so 39 euros for the one website now bear in mind this is an annual renewal so if you're planning to keep it for more than a year you might want to click on the lifetime uh, option here which is 119 for uh, lifetime support and updates so it's just a one-off payment in this case you know otherwise it's 39 euros and this will renew each and every year now if you have more than one website like this one here you can see you can have up to five sites now if you have more than one website you might uh, want to buy this one instead uh, depending on how many installations you have in place of course so there you go guys a one-of-a-kind plugin actually the only one available on the market so if you want to go ahead and add this feature to your website as always i'll leave a link in the description below and this is an affiliate link which means that you can purchase it at no extra cost to you but we get a small commission which helps support this channel and allows us to keep making content like these okay so i hope you found this interesting if so please consider subscribing to this channel and don't forget to hit the bell so you won't miss a single update thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video